take your seats this morning. We're going to come around the table of communion. Just remember that Jesus is Lord. Lord of everything. Everything. Thank you, Rod. Good morning, people. What Rod said, Jesus is Lord, Lord of all. He's my friend. Is he your friend? Come on, guys. Is he your friend? Get it together, eh? We're in church. Let's have some fun. I've um, done some paintings. That's one of my paintings up there. It's a picture of Jesus. Um, done a few other paintings. I asked the Lord to keep it together, to keep me together, because I don't want to lose it this morning. I know I've only got a few minutes. But that's the prodigal son. It's the father. That's the son. And this here is who you all carry. And I'm just trying to wake you up this morning because we've all got him inside of us. And this here... This is the Holy Spirit. Now, what does he look like? No one can see him, but he's in us. And I'm trying to get you excited this morning because I'm doing a mission. How a message? How do you commune with God? Communion with the Lord. And I'm going to read some scripture because it's God's word that breaks all the oak. Whatever you have on, or whatever you may have had this morning, or whatever's may be happening in your life, God wants to do something this morning because I asked and I prayed for each one of you. And this is, this is the message. It's in John 15. And it said, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that, you, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than you lay down one's life for his friends. See, Jesus is my friend. He's your friend. He wants to talk to you. He wants to commune with you this morning. He wants to tell you what's going on. You need to hear his voice. And he speaks through his word. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends for all things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask in my Father's name, he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me, that it hated me before it hated you. So you're going to get it out there, guys. We're in a war. When I got dressed this morning, I put the full armour of God on. I put the helmet of salvation, the gospel shoes of Pete, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the shield, a uh, sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith. And I walk, and that's in Ephesians 6.10. But you've got to get dressed every day in God and just talk to Him. Come as a child. Just say, hello, Jesus. How are you? What are we doing today? Communing with God. That's what we've got to do. Just commune with Him. And then it's, and, and this is the Holy Spirit. I want to, I'm trying to wake the Holy Spirit up in each one of you. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. See, I'm going to do something here. I was going to... This here is what it's all about. I'm going to stand behind the cross because you don't look at me, look at the cross. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. And when, nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, there he is, the Holy Spirit will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe in me. Now, I'm just going to step down here. I've asked the ladies to do a song. And I'm going to ask Rod and Susan just to come forward here. We're going to do communion a little bit different this morning. I want you to think about something in your life. If you've got something against somebody or something that everybody's got sin in their life, 
there's hidden sin and there's sin that we hang on to but God wants you to let go of it this morning let go of your sin I want you to bring it and when you come to take the bread I'd like you to think about what that sin is and I'd like you to dip it because God has precious body was broken for each one of you and when you come forward take a piece just come in a line come in two lines right over here Susan will be here these are servants of the house leaders of the house and when you dip it know that it is finished and you can commune with him because he wants to commune with you the girls are going to sing a song God said bring your gifts to the older there's some gifts here beautiful voices I'm just going to play a song if Rod you'd like to come forward and grab that tray and Susan just take some time as we sing this song it's an oldie but a goldie Thank you, Rod. Thank you, girls.